The Napa quake was just one of at least a half dozen magnitude six or greater quakes this month, including two in South America. And on the other side of the world, there were powerful quakes in Iran, China, Micronesia and Indonesia. There was an early warning of the Napa quake, but Carter Evans tells us it was not nearly early enough. The earthquake hit and then they fell all right around the gas. Oh. And Sunday's earthquake stupid. woke up Lee Norland. A few seconds warning would have been welcome. I'm racing around the bed, the bed shifting right toward me, and uh, we, we met, as you can see. That's how you got that shiner? That's how I got the shiner. But a new early warning system at UC Berkeley did detect the quake 10 seconds before it hit. What can you do with 10 seconds? So with 10 seconds, as individuals, you can move to a safe zone, you get under a sturdy table, you move away from uh, hazards, things falling on you, stuff like that. If you're having surgery, you would like that eye surgeon to just pull the scalpel back. Richard Allen leads the team that developed the technology. On Sunday, it sounded the alarm. Earthquake, earthquake. The system contains 300 seismographs across California. It detects preliminary vibrations that occur seconds before an earthquake. The seismic wave that follows travels at the speed of sound, but the system sensors can send an alert at the speed of light. So that was a small earthquake down here in Los Angeles. A similar system is already used in Japan and Mexico. 40 to 50 seconds of warning could provide enough time to ground elevators or slow down trains. The Berkeley team says $80 billion is required to add more sensors and develop an alert to instantly warn people on their cell phones. This is a real source of frustration for us. Nobody's getting this warning, and that's just because we don't have the necessary investment. Now, tests for this early warning technology are already underway with San Francisco's rapid transit system. It has the ability to automatically slow down trains during an earthquake. The alert signals went out on Sunday, but Maurice, it happened at a time when the trains weren't running. Carter Evans, thank you.